Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marque of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. This place is of La Beach Hotel. I'm so grateful to them. This morning I'd like to capture my thoughts with the words power castrations. Power castrations. You know, I'm reading the story of the Ethiopian Enoch. And when I was reading the story of the Ethiopian Enoch, I was, I was, it began that there was an Ethiopian Enoch who was the finance minister of Candace, the queen. So like, there are two characters over here. Candace, the queen, and a man, Ethiopian man, who was castrated. Now, I'm, I'm just sitting down there, I'm like, oh, wow. In those days, you know, it is Enoch who should bath the queen. It is Enoch who must bath the queen. It is Enoch who must serve the queen. And here's the point. By spading the man or by removing his gonads, you, what you're doing is you are removing him from that very active uh, uh, steroid or uh, hormone called testosterone. You're removing that person from, from that zone of, uh, of, of testosterone. And testosterone drives ambition. Testosterone drives men. Testosterone is what also gives us that masculine voice. It is testosterone. And what was happening? What, what, what was happening was that man had been spaded, and so he speaks in a sibilant voice. Hello. And, and that man has been deprived of testosterone. That's something that drives ambition. Something that, that aids in competition. Something that drives us uh, and, and makes this thing. A woman had spaded him. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Don't go running and blaming the woman. No. Sometimes power, people in positions of power, spade the people around them. They spade the people. So that the people leave terrified of them. The people live in mortal fear. Guess what? There's a difference between reverence and fear. There's a difference between respect and fear. There's a difference between reverence and fear. And there's a difference between respect and fear. And here's the principle. I mean, you spaded them in such a way that they can't speak. They can't tell you the truth. They can't, they can't come out and be objective. All of a sudden, they have become sissies, singing your praise, agreeing to everything. No ambition, no nothing, no objectivity. Power castrations. It was a king, queen who spade at him. And there are kings too who spade the people around them. Make Enochs. Remember the Bible said um, there are some Enochs which are born Enochs and there are some Enochs which are made Enochs of men. So by an act, by an act, they spade the person. By an act, the Enoch, was, the Ethiopian guy, was spaded. So he can't dream. He can read about events that are happening, but he doesn't understand. He hasn't got time to interpret them properly. He'll see other children and they'll be, they'll be, I can't have it. Power sometimes can force people in positions of power to, 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 to castrate the people around them and to spade them and to make them impotent. So that in the day of, of battle, they can't rise up to, to fight. There's a story in the Bible of the sons of, 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 of Israel, the sons of Jacob. Now the Bible says the men of one of the men of Shechem took their sister and raped her. And then the men of Shechem came in humility and in repentance and they said, you know what, we, we, we want to, we, we want to uh, pacify you we want to, and we want to even go ahead and marry the, the lady. And then the, 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 the sons of, 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 um, um, of Jacob gave an advice that we, we need to castrate all of you. We, we, no, we need to circumcise all of you before we can allow you to marry our, our, our sister. And the men of Shechem, out of love, they said, okay, circumcise us. If it will give us access to, to, your, to your, your sister, we love her. And the Bible said, the way they cut them, the men of Shechem were so sore. And then when they realized that they were so sore, the, the, um, Jacob's sons rose up and wiped them all away, put them to the edge of the sword. 
And so Joseph says, uh, uh, no, Jacob says, instruments of cruelty are in their hands. Simeon and Levi, instruments of cruelty are in their hands. So instead of enabling, instead of, instead of giving vent to their, to their destiny, we spare them. We cut them. We make them impotent. Power castrations. A very dangerous, a very dangerous phenomenon. We need to check it. See you later.